Hello friends in today's video we will study about the life of Gautam Buddh who was the founder of Buddhism Gautam Buddh was born in Lumbini near Kapilavastu which is in today's Nepal he was born in 567 BC and after 5 days of his birth his naming ceremony was organized eight astrologers were called in this event the child was named Siddharth The literal meaning of Siddharth is one who achieves his goal. His family name was Gautam, hence his full name was Siddharth Gautam. His father's name was Suddhodhan, who was head of Shakya clan. Shakya clan was a republican clan. Siddharth's mother's name was Maya Devi, and she died only after 7 days of giving birth to Siddharth. That's why the responsibility of raising Siddharth was given to Maya Devi's sister Prajapati Gautami. During the naming ceremony of Siddharth, eight astrologers were called. Out of eight astrologers, seven astrologers said that he would become emperor of emperors or would become a monk. But the eighth astrologer predicted that Siddharth would certainly become a monk. That's why Siddharth's father Suddhodhan used to be tormented by the prediction of the eighth astrologer all the time and he didn't want his only child to become an ascetic that's why he built a palace for Siddharth where all the comforts and pleasures of the world were kept Siddharth was kept away from all kinds of sorrow and despair and at the age of 16 he was married off his wife's name was Yashodhara Shortly after the marriage they had a son named Rahul but in spite of all these things only after almost 13 years of marriage the words of the eighth astrologer proved to be true after 29 years Siddharth chose ascetic life so the question here is that despite being surrounded by so many luxuries what happened that Siddharth got attracted towards an ascetic life So the thing was that his father had made such arrangements that Siddharth would never have to go out of his palace and that's why he was totally unfamiliar with life outside the palace Siddharth was still protected from all the miseries of the world he always used to wonder what life would be like outside the palace one day he took permission from his father and came out of the palace to visit the kingdom His father Suddhodhan ordered his charioteer Channa to accompany Prince Siddharth. So that's why Suddhodhan charioteer Channa took Siddharth out of the palace for the first time. His horse name was Kanthak. So when Siddharth came out of the palace for the first time, he was shocked to see the sorrow and suffering spread all over the world. As the chariot moved forward, Siddharth saw an old man. The first time Siddharth had seen a man with wrinkles and white hair. Seeing this old man, Siddharth asked his charioteer Channa whether he too would become old one day. Channa replied, "Yes, prince. This is the law of nature." Siddharth became very sad, thinking that one day he would also become weak like this old man. After this, Channa took the chariot forward. Then on the way he saw a person crying from illness Siddharth didn't understand that why this man is crying Siddharth asked Channa why this man is crying Channa replied because he is sick So Siddharth again asked Channa that is he the only person in the state who is sick So Channa replied no prince anyone can get sick even you Siddharth was shocked to think that he too might have to face such pain some day and one day he too will fall ill and will cry in pain on going ahead he saw a dead body some people were going towards the cremation ground with a dead body siddharth asked channa that what happened to this man where is he being taken channa replied that prince this man is dead and is being taken to the cemetery so siddharth again asked a question that is he the only person in the state who is dead So on this Channa replied that prince the one who is born his death is also certain hearing this Siddharth thought one day his father would also die and he himself would also die in this way he will also be separated from his wife Yashodhara and son Rahul Siddharth had seen so many sorrows for the first time and he was very disturbed by it and now he wanted to go back to the palace but on the way to the palace he saw a monk His face was bright and calm. Siddharth asked Channa, "Who is this person? Why is he looking different?" 
Channa told Siddharth that he is a monk. He has renounced all the comforts of the world so that he can find the truth of life. After this, Siddharth returned to the palace. But Siddharth was still thinking about those people whom he had seen outside the palace. Then he thought of that monk whose face was calm and bright. Siddharth also decided that he would give up all his worldly pleasures and search for peace. And in this way, at the age of 29 years, Siddharth accepted ascetic life. For seven years after choosing ascetic life, he kept going to different teachers and gurus in search of enlightenment. He learned what he could learn from them. But even after so many attempts, he could not get enlightenment. Moving forward in his journey, Siddharth reached Bodh Gaya. At this time, he was 35 years old. In Bodh Gaya, he started meditating under the shade of people tree on the banks of river Niranjan, which is also known as Falgu. After continuously meditating for 49 days, he finally got enlightenment. In Buddhism, this state is also known as Nirvana. After being enlightened, Siddharth Gautam came to be known as Buddha, because Buddha means the enlightened one. After being enlightened, Buddha gave his first sermon in Sarnath. Sermon means religious talk. So Buddha gave his first religious talk in Sarnath. This was called Dharm Chakra Parivartan, that is, turning of the wheel of religion. After that, he founded Buddhism and travelled from place to place to propagate this religion and died at the age of 80 years. He died in Kushinagar and this event is called Parinirvana. Now let's summarize the life events of Gautam Buddha. There were five main events in the life of Gautam Buddha. First, his birth. Second, great renunciation. Third, enlightenment, which is also known as Nirvana. Fourth, his first religious talk, which is also known as Dharma Chakra Parivartan. And fifth, his death, which is called Parinirvana. And with all these life events, some symbols have been attached. For example, his birth is denoted with lotus symbol. Great renunciation is symbolized with horse, enlightenment with bodhi tree. Dharma Chakra Parivartan is denoted with eight spoke wheel. And his death, that is Parinirvana, is denoted with stupa. So these were the details of life of Gautam Buddha. In the next video, we will cover Buddhism spread and Buddhism teachings in detail. You can download PDF of this video from Bookstava app. To understand Indian history and Indian polity in detail, do follow Bookstava playlist. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for watching Bookstava.